2020 is weird. <laughs> Hello everybody, Merry Christmas. It's November 1st, it is Scorpio season, it is the Christmas season. Now normally I decorate on November 1st and I might do a little decoration today. However, it is my niece Bailey's birthday this week, November 6th, and she wants to have a birthday party at my house and she has requested a Disneyland themed birthday because she really misses Disneyland. So I wanna decorate my house for Disneyland and I could do Christmas Disneyland, but I feel like it'll be more clear if it's just plain Disneyland because obviously I can't recreate the entirety of Disneyland in my home, but I wanna do a couple little cute things. And so I'm gonna to wait to decorate for Christmas until after her birthday, which my husband will be very excited about, but I'm a little sad about. So today I do need to do something Christmassy just to like fulfill my November 1st Christmas needs. So I'll probably listen to Christmas music, maybe make some Christmas cookies, maybe put out a couple decorations. I'm not sure yet, but right now I'm getting ready to play Among Us with some of the cast of Escape the Night. I am very excited to talk to some of my friends that I haven't talked to in so long. Joey Graceffa is literally one of my best friends in the whole world. I'm obsessed with him. And we've just been so busy that we haven't talked very much in the last couple weeks. And also we haven't seen each other in like over seven, eight months because of this pandemic. I'm just excited to talk to him and hear his beautiful voice and play a game with him that I'm gonna clearly lose and fail at immediately. But I'm excited, so that's what I'm about to do. So I don't know where that's gonna be or how you guys can see it, but I'll find out and I'll let you know. Okay, just finished playing Among Us. It's gonna be up on Joey's channel today. Day, I think so you can go just make sure to subscribe to Joey and go watch all his videos because he's magical And I'm gonna go find my kid. I also haven't eaten yet today, and it's freaking 3 45 and I'm feeling like I'm gonna faint so I'm gonna go eat some food. Flynn and I are just eating some tater tots Delicious so good We're trying to decide what to do. Should we make Halloween cookies? Or no, Christmas cookies. Should we make Christmas cookies? Yeah. Yeah? Should we put up a Christmas tree? No? Okay. Should we sing a Christmas song? Yeah. Okay. Deck the halls with bells of holly, fa la 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 la. Did you like that song? He didn't like it. I'm gonna figure out something Christmassy to do. I don't know what to do. I wanna do something Christmassy. Okay, so instead of doing Christmas stuff, I'm gonna clean the garage. <laughs> I don't want to. Basically what this is, is a pile of stuff that was in the RV and we cleaned out the RV. Half of it went in the house and got cleaned and half of it just ended up in here. So I was thinking about how I wanted to put away the Halloween stuff so we get out the Christmas stuff and realized, oh, our garage is a disaster. So I have to do this sooner or later. I might as well do it now. He's very excited to see a pile of crap. So. You want a bulldozer? Yeah. Okay, we'll find a bulldozer, I'm sure. Y'all, we found something better than a dump truck. We found, come here, let's see. We found his poopoo truck. Do you guys remember the poopoo truck? He ordered it on Amazon and he picked it out in a video where I let him pick out all his, whatever he wanted from Amazon, which YouTube demonetized, which is cool. And. <laughs> He was obsessed with it and he took it on our camping trip and it was in the garage this whole time. Anyway, we got a lot to throw away, a lot to organize. It's a disaster in here. So here we go. Oh, monster truck. Do you see a monster truck? We're gonna take a pause to go to the park. Then I'll get back to this in a minute. What are you doing? Oh. Are you sitting down? Wow, that's a new thing. Dada chair. tries to make me sit down. Also, this is what you get. This is Dada's chair. I know. Daddy dressed the baby today. Down here? Do you want to make mommy sit down? Yeah. Can I get up now, Flynn? He made the noise for you. <laughs> Can you jump? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Good, good jump. jump. Oh. <laughs> okay, so back from our walk and we did a little bit of, well, I did a little bit of organization happening. The pile is gone except for Flynn's poopoo -poo truck. These are donate bags over here. These are the Miranda tour show suitcases that I bought right before quarantine. So we never got to use them, but I got like fancy matching 
tour suitcases and they're all full of my Miranda props for tour that I'll probably never go on again. <laughs> and then these are all the haters back off costumes for Miranda. I've kept them because I'm sentimental like that with big projects in my life. And so this is all season one and I think it's just Maybe it's just season two, but I think it's season one as well. The costumes all in there. And then this is a disaster. So I'm working on this area. It was worse than it is right now, if you can believe it. So I need to take everything away from the wall and then like puzzle piece it back up. So this is like memories and books and old clothes and Christmas decorations and fall decorations and like all that stuff. So that's what this wall is, but it's obviously a disaster. So I need to redo this whole wall, which is daunting. But right now I'm just proud of myself for cleaning up the big pile of crap that was in the middle of the garage, organizing this wall as much as I can. And we found mice poo in the garage. So we have mice, which is really cool. And the problem with doing this was that it like caused more just, it was just so much work to do that like one pile. I have like already have a load of laundry and I'm gonna have two more loads of laundry of like random like sheets and pillowcases and clothes and random stuff. I have stuff I need to organize in the Miranda office. I have, uh, there's like so much now to do with just that one pile. It like destroyed my whole night. And I think Daisy just came in here, so I need to get her out so she doesn't get locked in here. Do you smell the mice? Do you smell the mice in the garage? Are you okay, Gus? Gus had a traumatic night a couple nights ago. And now he lets me pet him. Only for a second, but he lets me pet him. Gus spent the night outside a couple nights ago and <laughs> it was traumatic. We have very much indoor cats, like the most indoor of any indoor cat. And every once in a while they get adventurous and like will peek outside, but they're not supposed to go outside. And Gus, we opened the door to run outside and he darted out and hid, you know, was outside for the night and early the next morning came running in when the door was opened and we we're like, what the heck, he ran outside. And he was scarred and now he is a changed woman and is <laughs> like cuddling with Eric and like letting me pet him. And I think he was very humbled by his night out in the jungle. Are you okay, Gus? Oh, he's even kissing his sister. Hi, Gus. Sorry, I'm yawning right in your freaking face, how rude. I planned on posting the next Miranda episode tomorrow um, and keeping the schedule of Monday and Thursday for the Miranda videos, but they're really challenging edits and I just haven't had a chance to sit down and work on them because the Rocky Horror thing kind of took over my life. I planned on doing it all day today, but I woke up today and was like, you know what, I wanna spend a day with my boys. So I really just focused on Flynn and Eric today and um, hanging out with them, which it's just more important. So sorry, there will not be a new Miranda video tomorrow. And now I'm realizing <laughs> the plan is to hopefully post it on Tuesday, but that's election day, which is maybe not a good day to post a silly video, but maybe it is a good day. Maybe people will want to like laugh because it's gonna be a stressful day here in America. If you don't live in America, our election is on November 3rd, which is Tuesday. This election is very different than any election we've ever had before. It's the first time that I'm aware of, but maybe I'm wrong, where stores in all the major cities are literally boarding up all their windows in fear of protests and riots, no matter who wins. Like either way, people are scared that people are gonna be upset and there's gonna be rioting and excuse me a stressed belch expelled from my body so it's just weird like it's a weird time we have no idea what's gonna happen like i genuinely have no idea what's gonna happen like i have no idea i am so stressed. I think the whole country is pretty like stressed about it and it's just like what's gonna happen like whether you want Trump or Biden to win like either way I think is like a what the heck is gonna I don't think anyone knows. I think people are predicting certain things but every prediction I've seen is totally different so I don't know it's really stressful. Either way it's stressful and either way people are gonna be mad. I just wish it could just be peaceful. <laughs> I just want it to be peaceful and I want everyone to be nice and I just want everything to be okay because 2020 has already been very hard and we just need it to be okay. <sighs>
Anyway, so I'm gonna try to post my video Tuesday <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So look out for the new Miranda video on Tuesday. Other than the election, who knows what's gonna happen to our country, but other than that, more trivial things, this month is Corey's birthday, Bailey's birthday, and my birthday. Bailey's birthday is up first, so we're gonna do a little shindig for her. My birthday, I was gonna plan this like big, fun camping trip and like get rent a huge cabin. Now I don't know because I don't know. I just don't know where we're where our country is going to be and what's going to be going on i mean people are literally telling me like stock up on items essential items because we don't know what's going to happen and you might not be able to get things and i'm like what so i don't know what's going on so i'm kind of waiting till after the election but also i don't know if i want to do that because i like like do i want to do a big camping trip or do i just want to like have my family come over and hang out i don't know guys i might be boring this year i don't really care about my birthday anymore which is a very big statement for me to say because i've always been that girl who like is obsessed with my birthday and like obsessed with birthdays in general like for example my friend christina who i've been friends with since i was 11 years old she has known me for over 20 years she texted me today and said happy birthday month that's who i've always been i've always been that who like it's november 1st i'm like it's my birthday all month long and i like do something big and celebrate all month and i'm like so excited about it and now i'm kind of like who cares i don't know i feel like i should do something so that you guys can be entertained but i kind of don't really care i just told you a bunch of information that you didn't ask for and you didn't want but you're welcome anyway i didn't get to decorate anything for christmas today but that's okay flynn and i listened to christmas music which was lovely and i was just reading some of your comments on my vlog yesterday the rocky the day halloween where i did the rocky horror picture show live stream you guys are so freaking nice like i can't even tell you like all of the comments on my video yesterday were so kind and encouraging and just lovely and i just can't even tell you how much i appreciated like all of your sweet comments yesterday like i often get like really nervous to read comments because i'm just so scared of what i'm gonna see because i've read some really bad ones in the past that have like traumatized me so to read through them and just see people be so freaking nice and encouraging and like lovely i just feel like this year has been such a poo nugget i don't know what i would have done this year without like the support from so many of you like your sweet letters and your comments and yeah i just i feel like i'm really i've really missed doing the live shows and performing for you live and in person and like seeing you and hugging you and talking to you and getting to know you guys in person and and even just like going out and about like at a mall or at a restaurant and seeing you guys and meeting you in person and like I really miss it and this job feels really lonely sometimes and so those comments and letters are kind of like the one thing I have obviously to remind me that you guys are there and we're all like a little community of friends and so just thank you for your kindness and your sweet words that you guys always post for me it's very very nice i'm gonna try to just like destroy my brain and crowd it with work this week to distract myself from the hecticness that is about is hectic is a word hecticness hectic whatever it's gonna be crazy week so i'm gonna try to crowd my brain with work so that i don't think about it because i'm a little scared just like the rest of america is anyway oh i do have a question for you guys for people who do not live in america this is only for my non-american folk so if you're from america you can leave a comment of whatever you want as long as it's a loving kind thing no negativity y'all if you're not from america please leave a comment i am so curious what do you think of our country <laughs> I just want to know what how how is america perceived to other places right now like we're about to have this election i just want to know like wh how, what you guys think of like trump and biden and our politics and covid and all the stuff that we are going through in america i'm curious how people outside of america think of us i know that like when i was first starting to tour like 10 years ago 11 years ago when i would go overseas to australia or anywhere in europe like people be like oh you're from america that's so awesome like and they like loved america wanted to talk about america and then right before covid hit when i would travel like the few times i traveled overseas which was rare but i did travel overseas like since trump was elected people did not really say nice things about america when i would go overseas so i'm curious what they think right now i just really want to know so if you don't live in america say where you're from and say you don't have to be like this is what i think unless you want to you can be like in the media they say this or like the majority of the people i know say this you know you don't have to say exactly how you feel if you don't want people to like come for you or argue or whatever like i'm not looking for arguments i'm not 
looking for drama or debates down below. I'm just so curious to know what people other than America think of America right now. It's probably gonna make me sad, but like I still, I'm just so curious to know because I feel like we're in a little bubble in America. To me, it seems chaotic and like terrifying here, but like I just wanna know what other people think. So let me know. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Right before you run.